Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. Oh, my nails just look a mess at the moment. I've got them slightly longer on this hand, but I just don't, I, yeah, they keep breaking and I've got big bubbles under. This is probably the shortest I've had my nails in quite a long time, or at least a couple of them. And my cuticles are a mess and my hands are just really dry at the moment. So <laughs> try to ignore the fact that my nails are a complete mess. So in this video, I want to look at the final kind of miscellaneous polishes before I get into my indies. And I'm going to try and do the indies over two videos. I've got my Arda's Nails collection, which I'm going to try. I think that when I asked the question, the biggest response was to try and get it all done in one video. I don't know how long it'll be, and I'm trying to think about how I'm going to do that. I've got like 130 Arda's Nails polishes. Ooh, so that's going to take a while and then I've probably got about the same amount again but just in other brand indies so but I'm going to try and do it in two videos but before I do that I want to um, look at these 42 remaining polishes that are from various miscellaneous brands including high-end so if we look first at what I consider high-end I've got four Chanel polishes two Yves Saint Laurent polishes and three NARS polishes so for me, these are polishes that tend to retail around the £15, £20 mark, um, which is probably about $20, $25 US. So yeah, expensive nail polishes. And I tend to buy them at airports when I'm on holiday, when I'm coming back through duty free. I might pick up a polish or two. Um, birthdays, special occasions. I've bought high-end polishes before and a couple of them have been sent to me by Amanda. So I'm I'm going to go through these quite quickly. I'm going to keep all of my Chanel polishes. These two I picked up myself. This is Desirio, which is what I'm wearing on my nails today. Uh, one coat pink, raspberry pink, and blue rebel, beautiful again, one coat. I haven't actually tried these two yet, but these were sent to me by Amanda, the nail polish hound. So that's Exception, which is a kind of reddish brick brown and Peridot, which is a green, gold, shimmery, metallic. I'm also going to keep my NARS polishes. So these two I picked up a few years ago. That's Jungle Red and Midnight uh, Night Flight, which is a shimmery blue, needs a good shake-up. And this one here was sent to me by Andrea. This is the beautiful Purple Rain, gorgeous, shimmery, pinky purple. And I'm also going to keep my two Yves Saint Laurent. I've used them quite a lot. This one's down to halfway. And that's Blue Majoral. And this one is Blue Cobalt, which is a dark navy, shimmery navy polish. So, yeah, I'm going to be keeping all of my remaining high-end polishes. And here are my model's own polishes. I'm definitely going to keep these speckled. I absolutely love all three of these speckled polishes and I really like the model's own formula for the speckled polishes. It just seems to have the best effect out of all the speckled polishes I've got. So I'm definitely keeping those three. This is a favourite bright neon yellow and this one is called Louis Lemon and it came in a, a me box of couple of years ago but it is a fantastic formula so I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm also going to keep these two because they're just so unusual they're like pastel neons and that's beach fire and lemon popsicle so I'm going to keep these two but I think I'm going to say goodbye to these two. Um, this one is a really pretty pink, but it just it's just something that I don't reach for. It's quite a blue tone pink. I wonder if Loops would like this one. And this one here is, this one's called Lavender, and it is a pastel lavender, of which I've got plenty. So I'm going to say goodbye to these two. I'm really not doing well so far. I'm keeping 15 and de-stashing two. So let's see if we can get any better. Um, these are my nailed London polishes. I've got three of them. I did pick up about six, I think, from Tesco's. They were originally, I think you could only buy them in Harrods. 
and uh, I don't even know if this exists anymore. Um, Rosie Fortescue, who was one of the, I think she was a cast member on Made in Chelsea, which I, I don't watch that kind of stuff. But anyway, the polishes were quite nice. I am going to keep this one. This is Gold Digger, which is a really pretty blurple. But I think I'm going to say goodbye to these two just because I know I've got very similar polishes in OPIs. So that's Noodle Nude and Eye Candy. Both are really pretty neutrals, but I've got this col these colours duplicated in other, in other brands. So yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to these two, which means this Nailed London now moves into my one and onlys. Cure Bizarre is a French brand and my friend Anne sent me some Cure Bizarre polishes. These two, when I very first started getting into collecting nail polish and I was absolutely blown away by these two. I'm definitely going to keep them. That Stone Wash and Or Rose, which are, it's very similar to Orly's Rage, um, but it's beautiful. I absolutely love it, so I'm keeping these two. Um, but I think I'm going to say goodbye to these three. I've get, Again, I've got similar polishes in other brands. So that's Boyfriend, Kale and Queen. So that's three Cure Bizarres. Wow. I felt as though I was being quite harsh there, but really these are the two that I absolutely love. So I'm keeping these two. So I've got some drugstore polishes here. I'm definitely going to be keeping all of my... NYC Fancy Dotties. So this, these two I've had for quite a few years and these two were sent to me by Andrea. She managed to find them over in Ireland. It, I think these are quite difficult to get hold of but they're absolutely beautiful speckled polishes. So I'm going to be keeping all four of those. But I am actually finally going to let go of all three of these Mavala polishes because I just haven't reached for them. Um, these are a kind of matte finishes and this is a very dark green which I think I was keeping hold of just because it's a very dark green but I, ju I just don't wear any of them so Mavala is leaving my collection. Pure Ice, I've got three Pure Ice here, I'm actually only going to keep this one, it is a beautiful purple and it's called, it's all a bluer. Um, but these two, I think I've got very, very similar polishes in like other mainstreams, SE and China Glaze and OPI. So I'm actually going to say goodbye to these two. That's Take a Glint and More Bang for my book. This one's staying. So this, again, this is another one that goes into my one and only, my one and only Pure Ice Polish. Just before I get onto my uh, Colour Club polishes, I'm going to be keeping these three. I just love these bottles. So that's two Smiths and Colt. This was sent to me by Anne over in France. And this one was sent to me by Catherine and Mrs Cronall. So I'm keeping these two. And this one that should have been in my one and only is it's my Louboutin mini polish that was sent to me for my 50th birthday by Amanda, the nail polish hound. Absolutely love it amazing packaging so that sits proudly at the front of my collection so here are my color club polishes i've got five halo hues and these two polishes here this one is a very very bright shimmery kind of aqua blue it's a very similar shade to my turquoise ring i absolutely love this one it's got a fantastic finish and it's called pure energy so i'm definitely keeping this one um, and this one I've been keeping hold of for ages and I'm not entirely sure why. It's called Midnight Mulberry and I think it was sent in a me box and I do feel as though I have very similar polishes in my collection so I'm going to say goodbye to this one. But I'm definitely going to keep all of my Halo Hues. So that's Kismet, Angel Kiss, Cloud Nine. This one I got more recently which is Miss Bliss and Over the Moon absolutely stunning holographic polishes so I, I tend to pick up a halo hue now and again as a treat or if I just can when I'm shopping on nail polish direct I might pick one up now and again um, but yeah I absolutely love them they're, they're just am amazingly intense holographics so I'm going to be keeping all of the halo hues You know, I don't think I've done too bad here. When I first looked at these remaining polishes, I didn't think I'd be able to de-stash more than about five out of the 42. 
but I've actually destashed. But I've actually destashed thirteen. So um, yeah, I'm actually quite proud of myself. Okay, I clearly can't count. <laughs> I always have problems with destashing and counting. Um, I've actually got thirty-two polishes that I'm keeping and thirteen. So I must have that I'm destashing. So I must have had forty-five to begin with. So let me know, would you have destashed more or would you have kept more? Um, we're getting almost down to the end of it now for it like through brands before we get onto the indies. But as I said, there'll be two pretty long videos. I'll try and keep them as short as possible, but I think they're going to be quite difficult. I'm not sure how many indies I'm going to be destashing. Probably not as many as I have with the mainstream. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!